In linear algebra, functional analysis, and related areas of mathematics, a norm is a function that assigns a strictly positive length or size to each vector in a vector space except for the zero vector, which is assigned a length of zero. A seminorm, on the other hand, is allowed to assign zero length to some non zero vectors in addition to the zero vector. A norm must also satisfy certain properties pertaining to scalability and additivity which are given in the formal definition below. A simple example is two-dimensional Euclidean space R2 equipped with the Euclidean norm. See below. Elements in this vector space e three, seven, are usually drawn as arrows in a two-dimensional Cartesian coordinate system starting at the origin 0, 0. The Euclidean norm assigns to each vector the length of its arrow. Because of this, the Euclidean norm is often known as the magnitude. A vector space on which a norm is defined is called a normed vector space. Similarly, a vector space with a seminorm is called a seminormed vector space. It is often possible to supply a norm for a given vector space in more than one way. Topic. Definition Given a vector space V over a subfield F of the complex numbers, a norm on V is a non-negative valued scalar function P, V zero, plus infinity with the following properties, for all are in F and all U, V element of V P U plus V P U plus P V being subadditive or satisfying the triangle inequality. P A V equals A P V being absolutely homogeneous or absolutely scalable. If P V topic zero, then V. Zero is the zero vector being positive definite or being point separating. A seminorm on V is a function P, VR with the properties 1 and 2 above. Every vector space V with seminorm P induces a normed space V, W, called the quotient space, where W is the subspace of V consisting of all vectors V in V with P v equals zero. The induced norm on V, W is defined by P W plus V equals P V. Two norms or seminorms P and Q on a vector space V are equivalent if there exist two real constants C and C, with C greater than zero, such that for every vector v in v, one has that c q v p v c q v. A topological vector space is called normable, seminormable, if the topology of the space can be induced by a norm, seminorm. Topic notation. If a norm P, VR is given on a vector space V then the norm of a vector V element of V is usually denoted by enclosing it within double vertical lines, V equals P v. Such notation is also sometimes used if P is only a seminorm. For the length of a vector in Euclidean space, which is an example of a norm, as explained below, the notation, V, with single vertical lines is also widespread. In Unicode, the code point of the double vertical line character is U plus 2016. The double vertical line should not be confused with the parallel to symbol, Unicode U plus 2225. This is usually not a problem because the former is used in parenthesis-like fashion, whereas the latter is used as an infix operator. 
The double vertical line used here should also not be confused with the symbol used to denote lateral clicks in linguistics, Unicode U plus one C1. The single vertical line, is called, "...vertical line", in Unicode and its code point is U plus 007 C. In latex and related markup languages, the macros and parallel are often used to denote a norm. Topic: <laughs> Examples. All norms are seminorms. The trivial seminorm has p x equals zero for all x in V. Every linear form f on a vector space defines a seminorm by x, f x. Topic: Absolute value norm. The absolute value x equals x. Display style left x right equals left x right is a norm on the one-dimensional vector spaces formed by the real or complex numbers. The absolute value norm is a special case of the L1 norm. Topic: <laughs> Euclidean norm. On an n-dimensional Euclidean space Rn, the intuitive notion of length of the vector x equals x1, x2, xn is captured by the formula x2 equals x1 2 plus plus x n 2 display style left bold symbol x right underscore 2 equals sqrt x underscore 1 carrot 2 plus c d o t s plus x underscore n carrot 2 this is the euclidean norm which gives the ordinary distance from the origin to the point x a consequence of the pythagorean theorem this operation may also be referred to as SRSS, which is an acronym for the square root of the sum of squares. The Euclidean norm is by far the most commonly used norm on Rn, but there are other norms on this vector space as will be shown below. However, all these norms are equivalent in the sense that they all define the same topology. On an n-dimensional complex space Cn the most common norm is Z equals Z 1 2 plus plus Z n 2 equals Z 1 Z 1 plus plus z n z n Display style left bold symbol z right equals sqrt left z underscore one right carrot two plus c d o t s plus left z underscore n right carrot two equals sqrt z underscore one bar z underscore one plus c d o t s plus z underscore n bar z underscore n in both cases the norm can be expressed as the square root of the inner product of the vector and itself x equals x x display style left bold symbol x right equals sqrt bold symbol x caret asterisk tilde bold symbol x where x is represented as a column vector x1 x2 
xn, and x denotes its conjugate transpose. This formula is valid for any inner product space, including Euclidean and complex spaces. For Euclidean spaces, the inner product is equivalent to the dot product. Hence, in this specific case the formula can be also written with the following notation x equals x x display style left bold symbol x right equals sqrt bold symbol x c d o t bold symbol x the Euclidean norm is also called the Euclidean length, L2 distance, 2 distance, L2 norm, or 2 norm, CLP space. The set of vectors in Rn plus 1 whose Euclidean norm is a given positive constant forms an N sphere. Topic: <laughs> Euclidean norm of a complex number. The Euclidean norm of a complex number is the absolute value also called the modulus ERT, if the complex plane is identified with the Euclidean plane R2. This identification of the complex number x plus iy as a vector in the Euclidean plane, makes the quantity x 2 plus y 2 Display style sqrt x caret 2 plus y caret 2. As first suggested by Euler, the Euclidean norm associated with the complex number. Topic: Taxicab norm or Manhattan norm. X 1 equals I equals one N X I display style left bold symbol X right underscore one equals sum underscore I equals one carrot N left X underscore I right the name relates to the distance a taxi has to drive in a rectangular street grid to get from the origin to the point x. The set of vectors whose one norm is a given constant forms the surface of a cross polytope of dimension equivalent to that of the norm minus 1. The taxicab norm is also called the display style L 1 norm. The distance derived from this norm is called the Manhattan distance or display style L1 distance. The one norm is simply the sum of the absolute values of the columns. In contrast, I equals 1 n x i Display style sum underscore i equals one caret n x underscore i is not a norm because it may yield negative results. Topic p norm. Let p one be a real number. The p display style p norm also called p display style l underscore p norm a vector x equals x 1 x n display style math bf x equals x underscore 1 l dots x underscore n is x p equals i equals 1 n x i p 
1 p display style left math bf x right underscore p equals big sum underscore i equals 1 carrot n left x underscore i right carrot p big carrot 1 p for p topic 1 we get the taxicab norm for p2 we get the euclidean norm and as p approaches infinity display style inf t the p norm approaches the infinity norm or maximum norm x infinity equals max i x i display style left math bf x right underscore inf t equals max underscore i left x underscore i right the p norm is related to the general generalized mean or power mean. This definition is still of some interest for 0 x, f x minus g x, p d mu display style in underscore x left f x g x right carrot p tilde mathrm d mu without pth root defines a distance that makes L p x into a complete metric topological vector space. These spaces are of great interest in functional analysis, probability theory, and harmonic analysis. However, outside trivial cases, this topological vector space is not locally convex and has no continuous nonzero linear forms. Thus the topological dual space contains only the zero functional. The partial derivative of the p norm is given by x k x p equals x k x k p minus two x p p Minus one display style frac partial partial x underscore k left math bf x right underscore p equals frac x underscore k left x underscore k right carrot p two left math bf x right underscore p carrot p one the derivative with respect to x, therefore, is x p x equals x x p minus two x p p minus one Display style frac partial math bf x underscore p partial math bf x equals frac math bf x circ math bf x carrot p two math bf x underscore p carrot p one where display style circ denotes Hadamard product and display style c d o t is used for absolute value of each component of the vector. For the special case of p equals two, this becomes x k x two equals x k x two display style frac partial partial x underscore K left math BF x right underscore 2 equals frac X underscore K left math BF x right underscore 2 or X X 2 equals X X 2 Display style frac partial partial math bf x left math bf x right underscore two equals frac math bf x left math bf x right underscore two.
topic maximum norm special case of infinity norm uniform norm or supremum norm if x display style math bf x is some vector such that x equals x 1 x 2 x n display style math bf x equals x underscore 1 x underscore 2 l dots x underscore n then x infinity equals max x 1 x n display style left math bf x right underscore inf t equals max left left x underscore 1 right l dots left x underscore n right right the set of vectors whose infinity norm is a given constant c forms the surface of a hypercube with edge length 2c topic zero norm in probability and functional analysis the zero norm induces a complete metric topology for the space of measurable functions and for the f space of sequences with f norm x n n 2 minus n x n 1 plus x n display style x underscore n mapsto sum underscore n 2 carrot n x underscore n 1 plus x underscore n here we mean by f norm some real valued function Display style L vert C D O T R vert on an F space with distance D such that X equals D X zero Display style L vert X R vert equals D X zero the F norm described above is not a norm in the usual sense because it lacks the required homogeneity property. Topic: <laughs> Hamming distance of a vector from zero. In metric geometry, the discrete metric takes the value 1 for distinct points and 0 otherwise. When applied coordinate wise to the elements of a vector space, the discrete distance defines the Hamming distance, which is important in coding and information theory. In the field of real or complex numbers, the distance of the discrete metric from zero is not homogeneous in the non zero point, indeed, the distance from zero remains one as its non zero argument approaches zero. However, the discrete distance of a number from zero does satisfy the other properties of a norm, namely the triangle inequality and positive definiteness. When applied component-wise to vectors, the discrete distance from zero behaves like a non-homogeneous norm, which counts the number of non-zero components in its vector argument. Again, this non-homogeneous norm is discontinuous. In signal processing and statistics, David Donahoe referred to the zero norm with quotation marks. Following Donahoe's notation, the zero norm of x is simply the number of non-zero coordinates of x, or the Hamming distance of the vector from zero. When this norm is localized to a bounded set, it is the limit of p norms as p approaches zero. Of course, the zero norm 
is not truly a norm, because it is not positive homogeneous. Indeed, it is not even an F norm in the sense described above, since it is discontinuous, jointly and severally, with respect to the scalar argument in scalar vector multiplication and with respect to its vector argument. Abusing terminology, some engineers omit Donohoe's quotation marks and inappropriately call the number of non-zeros function the L0 norm, echoing the notation for the Lebesgue space of measurable functions. Other norms Other norms on Rn can be constructed by combining the above, for example, x equals 2 x 1 plus 3 x 2 2 plus max x 3 2 x 4 2 display style left x right equals 2 left x underscore 1 right plus sqrt 3 left x underscore 2 right carrot 2 plus max left x underscore 3 right 2 left x underscore 4 right carrot 2 is a norm on r4 for any norm and any injective linear transformation a we can define a new norm of x equal to a x display style left x right in 2d with a a rotation by 45 degrees and a suitable scaling this changes the taxicab norm into the maximum norm in 2D, each A applied to the taxicab norm, up to inversion and interchanging of axes, gives a different unit ball, a parallelogram of a particular shape, size and orientation. In 3D this is similar but different for the one norm octahedrons and the maximum norm prisms with parallelogram base. There are examples of norms that are not defined by in treewise formulas. For instance, the Minkowski functional of a centrally symmetric convex body in Rn centered at zero defines a norm on Rn. All the above formulas also yield norms on Cn without modification. There are also norms on spaces of matrices with real or complex entries, the so-called matrix norms. topic infinite dimensional case the generalization of the above norms to an infinite number of components leads to p and lp spaces with norms x p equals i element of n x i P one P and F P X equals X F X P D X one P Display style left x right underscore p equals big sum underscore i in math bound n left x underscore i right carrot p big carrot one p text and left f right underscore p x equals big in underscore x left f x right carrot p tilde mathrm d x big carrot one p for complex valued sequences and functions on x r 
display style x subset math bound r respectively which can be further generalized see ha measure any inner product induces in a natural way the norm x equals x x display style left x right equals sqrt langle x x wrangle other examples of infinite dimensional normed vector spaces can be found in the banach space article topic properties The concept of unit circle, the set of all vectors of norm 1 is different in different norms. For the one norm the unit circle in R2 is a square, for the two norm, Euclidean norm, it is the well-known unit circle, while for the infinity norm it is a different square. For any p norm it is a superellipse with congruent axes. See the accompanying illustration. Due to the definition of the norm, the unit circle must be convex and centrally symmetric therefore, for example, the unit ball may be a rectangle but cannot be a triangle, and p 1 for a p norm. In terms of the vector space, the seminorm defines a topology on the space, and this is a Hausdorff topology precisely when the seminorm can distinguish between distinct vectors, which is again equivalent to the seminorm being a norm. The topology thus defined by either a norm or a seminorm can be understood either in terms of sequences or open sets. A sequence of vectors v n display style v underscore n is said to converge in norm 2 v display style v if v n minus v 0 Display style left v underscore n v right right arrow zero as n infinity display style n to inf t. Equivalently, the topology consists of all sets that can be represented as a union of open balls. Two norms α and β on a vector space V are called equivalent if there exist positive real numbers C and D such that for all x in V C x α x β D x α Display style c left x right underscore alpha leq left x right underscore beta leq d left x right underscore alpha. For instance, on c n display style math bf c caret n. If p greater than r greater than zero, then x p x r n 1 r minus 1 p x p Display style left x right underscore p l e q left x right underscore r l e q n carrot one r one p left x right underscore p. In particular, x two x one n x two 
Display style left x right underscore two leq left x right underscore one leq sqrt n left x right underscore two x infinity x two n x infinity Display style left x right underscore inf t leq left x right underscore two leq sqrt n left x right underscore inf t x infinity x one n x infinity Display style left x right underscore inf t leq left x right underscore one leq n left x right underscore inf t i e x infinity x two x one n x Two N X Infinity Display style left x right underscore inf t leq left x right underscore two leq left x right underscore one leq sqrt n left x right underscore two leq n left x right underscore inf t if the vector space is a finite dimensional real or complex one, all norms are equivalent. On the other hand, in the case of infinite dimensional vector spaces, not all norms are equivalent. Equivalent norms define the same notions of continuity and convergence and for many purposes do not need to be distinguished. To be more precise the uniform structure defined by equivalent norms on the vector space is uniformly isomorphic. Every semi norm is a sublinear function, which implies that every norm is a convex function. As a result, finding a global optimum of a norm-based objective function is often tractable. Given a finite family of seminorms π on a vector space the sum p x equals i equals 0 n p i x Display style p x equals sum underscore i equals zero caret n p underscore i x is again a seminorm. For any norm p on a vector space V, we have that for all u and v element of V p u plus or minus v p u minus p v. Proof: Applying the triangular inequality to both p u minus 0 display style p u 0 and p v minus 0 display style p v 0 p u minus Zero P U minus V plus P V minus zero P U minus V P U Minus P V 
Display style P U zero LEQ P U V plus P V zero right arrow P U V G E Q P U P V P U minus zero P U plus V plus P zero minus V P U plus V P U minus P V Display style P U zero LEQ P U plus V plus P zero V right arrow P U plus V GEQ P U P V P V minus zero P U minus V plus P U minus zero P U minus V P V minus P U Display style P V zero LEQ P U V plus P U zero right arrow P U V G E Q P V P U P V minus zero P U plus V plus P Zero minus U P U plus V P V minus P U Display style P V zero LEQ P U plus V plus P zero U right arrow P U plus V G E Q P V P U Thus P U plus or minus V P U minus P V If X Display style X and Y Display style y are norm spaces and u x y display style u x to y is a continuous linear map. Then the norm of u display style u and the norm of the transpose of u display style u are equal. For the LP norms, we have holders inequality x y x p y q one p plus one q equals one. Display style left Langle x y wrangle right leq left x right underscore p left y right underscore q q quad frac one p plus frac one q equals one. A special case of this is the Cauchy-Schwarz inequality x y x two Y two Display style left Langle x, Y wrangle right, LEQ left, x right, underscore two left, Y right, underscore two
Topic classification of seminorms Absolutely convex absorbing sets All seminorms on a vector space V can be classified in terms of absolutely convex absorbing subsets are of V to each such subset corresponds a seminorm par called the gauge of A, defined as par x, equals inf alpha, alpha greater than zero, x element of alpha a with the property that x, par x any locally convex top Topological vector space has a local basis consisting of absolutely convex sets. A common method to construct such a basis is to use a family P of seminorms P that separates points, the collection of all finite intersections of sets P. Such a method is used to design weak and weak asterisk topologies. Norm case Suppose now that P contains a single P, since P is separating, P is a norm, and A topic P par is continuous, the converse is due to Andrei Kolmogorov. Any locally convex and locally bounded topological vector space is normable. Precisely, if V is an absolutely convex bounded neighborhood of zero, the gauge G V so that V equals G V equals Topic generalizations equals There are several generalizations of norms and semi-norms. If P is absolute homogeneity but in place of subadditivity we require that then P satisfies the triangle inequality but is called a quasi-seminorm and the smallest value of B for which this holds is called the multiplier of P, if in addition P separates points then it is called a quasi-norm. On the other hand, if P satisfies the triangle inequality but in place of absolute homogeneity we require that then P is called a K-seminorm. We have the following relationship between quasi-seminorms and K-seminorms, suppose that Q is a quasi-seminorm on a vector space X with multiplier B. If 0 k log 2 2 b display style 0 then there exists k seminorm p on x equivalent to q the concept of norm in composition algebras does not share the usual properties of a norm a composition algebra a asterisk n consists of an algebra over a field a an involution asterisk and a quadratic form n which is called the norm in several cases n is an isotropic quadratic form so that a has at least one null vector, contrary to the separation of points required for the usual norm discussed in this article. See also Normed vector space Asymmetric norm Matrix norm Gower's norm Mahalanobis distance Manhattan distance Relation of norms and metrics Notes <laughs> <laughs>